Another part of measurement in chemistry is accuracy and precision. And we often use these words interchangeably and they really don't mean the same thing at all. So let's define accuracy and precision. Accuracy is how close the measurement is to the actual true value. So for example, if you knew the melting point of a substance was 39.4 degrees Celsius and you conducted the lab and got 39.3 degrees Celsius, you would say that you were accurate. You were close to the actual true value. Precision is how well that measurement can be repeated, how close the measurements are to each other. So to be precise, you need to have repeated consistent data. So let's go back to our example. Let's say you did a second experiment and got 39.4 degrees Celsius and 39.3 degrees Celsius again. This data, because these values are close to each other, is precise and it also happens to be accurate. Again, Accuracy can be true of individual measurements, but precision requires that you have several measurements before you can say anything about it. And in science, we always try and do several trials so that we can make sure that we are precise as well as accurate. So let's use an analogy uh, for accuracy and precision. We're going to use a golf analogy, and this is the true value getting the hole in one, and we're going to look at data with our golf balls and decide whether these data points would be accurate, precise, or neither. So let's look at our first example. Is this data accurate? Does it, is it close to the, or does it match the true value? No, it's not accurate. Is it precise? Well, all of the values are pretty close together. They're all clustered. So yes, it is precise even though it is not accurate. This would indicate that you are doing something in lab where you're getting very good repeated results. You're just not getting the true value. Let's look at another set of data. Here are our three values and here's the true value. Well, that one's not too bad. That's not quite accurate, but it's certainly better than the others. But I would have to say our data is not accurate. No, it is not. And it is not precise. Again, this would be examples of data where you're randomly getting results that are not close together. You're not using the equipment correctly or there is an error with the equipment. Let's look at another set. Here, all of the data points are close to the true value, so yes, it is accurate. And they are close to each other, so yes, it is precise. This is the kind of data that you would like to have. Again, uh, an analogy of this, you measure an object at 2.92 grams. You measure it again at 2.93 grams, and then your third measurement is 2.92. These are all close together. They are indeed precise. We then give you the true value, which is 2.95 grams, and you were quite close, so you were accurate and precise. One last example. We have one measurement, and it is close to the true value, so it certainly is accurate. But precise, we can't determine. Precision requires that you are able to repeat those values over and over again, so we have no idea about the precision of this measurement. Another analogy that's often used for accuracy and precision would be a dartboard. So if we look at this example, we can see that all of these darts hit fairly close to the true value and they're fairly close to each other, so I would say yes, they are accurate and they are precise. Again, only two measurements, but two measurements will allow you to state something about precision, so yes, this is accurate and precise data.
This analogy, we're certainly accurate. We're right there on the bullseye, but we do not know anything. What a precision spelled correctly. Pre precision. We have no idea if we are precise or not. Again, this data is pretty random. It's not, these points are not close to each other. They're certainly not close to the true point. So this data is neither accurate or precise. This is what we hope you will not be getting in your laboratory results. So after finishing this podcast, you should feel somewhat comfortable with accuracy, precision, and significant figures. And we will certainly work on these more in class.